Aloha! In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to use NetBeans GUI Builder by creating a Java desktop application. If you open up NetBeans, you want to go to File and New Project. The type of project we're going to be creating is a Java, Java application. We're going to go hit Next and we'll be doing a simple Hello World. Hit finish, and your project will be shown right here in the left hand side. If we expand the source packages folder, notice that there are no files. To create a new file, you could click on the source packages, right click, and go to new. Let's go to other for now, and let's find a Java file that we can use to create a GUI application. Here, we won't be in the Java categories, we'll be in the Swing GUI forms. Click on a JFrame form. And let's name it Hello World again. Click Finish. And notice the GUI Builder in NetBeans is starting to populate. Now we created a file inside our source packages. And here, this is our JFrame. Two tabs that are very important is the source and the design. This is the design view. This is the source view. If you are familiar with Java, this code should be very familiar. Notice, since we are using a NetBeans GUI builder, a lot of the code is pre-generated just to display this JFrame. Now, if we look at the pre-generated code, we can see that there is a warning banner here, and here is where the generated code is. Notice, in every Java file, every Java file that can be run, has a main method. Now if we go back to the design view, we'll notice that we have a palette tab. In this palette tab, there are many, 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 many tools that we can use to drag and drop into our JFrame. Here, we can drop a button. If we hold down the button and drag it over our JFrame, and place it right there in the middle. Now we have a button in our JFrame. If we go back to the source, we notice that our button and our code is already generated automatically. But notice I don't want it to be called JButton1. So what do we do? And well, if I try to type something, it's not going to work because the gray area, that means that we are not allowed to modify it directly here. But in fact, if we go to the design view, we right click on the button and we see the option change variable name. And rename it. Go back to source. I notice we renamed our button to button1. Now, the text in here, there's different ways to do it. We can do a handy dandy right click, edit text, or we can click on the button and go to the properties windows and see that the attribute text is right here and we can change it right here. hit enter and now we have a button that says click me now there is nothing special right now with a JFrame and a button because there are no action events so what we can do right now is create an event but first let's add a label
I will change the text to be blank. Now, if I go to click me and I wanted to add an action when a user clicks on the button, I can right click and go to events, I can go to action and go to action perform. Now doing so, the NetBeans GUI builder will automatically create all the method headers and everything and put it inside the source code view. In doing so, it took me here to this method that they pre-generated for me. Notice that I only can edit my code here. Now let me double check that my JLabel is still there. So my JLabel is called JLabel1. Now here, I can begin coding just like any other Java developer. So, now that I'm in this action perform button, I want to change the J label to say hello world. Hit save. Let's go back to design. Now let's run our Java project. If you get this little window, make sure you set this file to be the main class for your project. Now it's running. And here I have my application. Pretty neat. Now it says to click me. And it says hello world. Now using the J frame, it allows us to have all these buttons that have been pre-configured for us. So can X, expand, and I'm just going to exit right now. Great. So now the question is, I just created a simple GUI application, application using NetBeans GUI Builder. How can I run this application without using NetBeans? Now I will show you how to do that. So. If we go to run and we go to clean and build project, if there are no files, everything should run well. And now in the output folder, it's telling us where it saved our jar file. Now remember, if you make Java desktop applications, the jar file is relatable to the .exe file or the .dmg file. It's an executable file which you can run on a, on a desktop. Now I will navigate to the project folder where it saved and compiled the jar file. Here I am. This is where I saved my hello world jar project. Now if you go to here Notice that it pre-compiled a jar file for me. So now instead of going into NetBeans and running the file, the project, we can just go in here and double click the jar file and it pops up. So now I have a desktop application that is written in Java. I can send this to anyone, I can copy it and I can move it to the desktop. But now here it is. It is compiled into a jar file. Thank you for watching.